This is a video about Dooney and Burke sample bags. Hey, it says what? Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm really so thankful when you watch my videos, leave me a like or a comment and subscribe to my channel. I was talking with the wonderful Andrea from AKB Bags. I'll link her channel below. She had a question about a bag she had recently purchased and we got to chatting. I kept texting and texting and texting about the subject. And I'm sure she was thinking, how do I get this elderly woman to stop texting me? So she suggested we do a collab. And I thought that was a great idea. I have a few sample bags from Junie and Burke. And she had recently purchased one. So this is a collab with Andrea from AKB Bags. If you're coming from AKB Bags, thank you. If you haven't seen her video yet, please watch it after this one. <laughs> so I'm not buying bags right now. Bullshit lies. But I'll show you or probably show you again <laughs> some of my sample bags. I got all of my sample bags at the Juni and Burke tent sale in 2018. I really hope they that Juni brings back the in-person tent sale. It's a really great experience. But, you know, as the name implies, one whole section of the tent is um, just sample table after sample table and the Dooney staff restocks that sample table daily, if not multiple times a day. And things are um, listed like $25, $50, $75, like that. And they go down in price every day, I think. It's like a four day event. This is the first sample bag I want to show you. It's in the silhouette of the Kendra, but it's in a pattern that never made it to retail. It's in like this Bahama print. This is a nylon bag. Yeah, it says Kendra Satchel, Tommy Prince, Tropical. If you can't see that, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. But it's a really pretty print. And Kendra has pockets on each side. And then it has a crossbody strap, but I have it on a, a short shoulder setting. And then these straps are adjustable. Um, you, there's really no hard and fast rule for the sample bag, some of them might have actually, some of the samples you might see might have actually made it to full production and be sold by Dooney. And some of them might not be. This one has a blue interior, but it has no inside pockets. And then it has a tag. It says samples not for resale. That's kind of confusing. I think it means, 
I think it's there for the Dooney folks themselves so that it doesn't make its way to the warehouse and be sold as a, a full product, you know, I don't know. But this one has beautiful leather trim. You know, they went through a lot of effort to finish the outside of this bag. I'd love to know what the process is. You know, do they all sit in a room somewhere and touch the bags or are there uh, focus groups or whatever that um, decide on what gets to the next stage or not. Oh, this is a beautiful print. And I remember when I got this bag, I thought it was so small. Like I, I think um, I actually felt funny carrying it because it was so small and I'm so used to large bags, but now I would say it's a medium sized bag. Let's continue. So let's continue. The next sample bag is this beautiful Maple Leafs tote. It's in the silhouette of the Addison that Dooney did sell some Addison's, but not in this color or not in this pattern, I should say. And on the last day of the tent sale, um, one of the Dooney people brought out two of these bags and I grabbed one and a friend of mine grabbed another one. They're just a stunning, stunning bag. I wish they would have opted to sell these. I think they would have sold a lot of them. This is a coated cotton bag with thin leather straps. This one also does not have pockets. I've said before, I rarely use the pockets of my bags, so this doesn't bother me at all. Um, I don't think this one had a key keeper. Yeah, this one has doesn't have a key keeper or pockets. This one has a key keeper, but no pockets. And strangely enough, it has the regular Dooney and Burke tag with a serial number on the back. It's a beautiful bag. And then I have a Murphy backpack in Florentine leather with the patriotic duck pattern on it. I had bought it, I think the summer before the tent sale. So one of the days that I was at the sale, I saw this bag, not sure what this is. It's not the letter carrier. It might be like the triple zip crossbody or something like that. Oh, North, South, triple zip, Florentine, American flag duck logo. And it has on the back a note from May of 2018 change size of Dooney and Burke emboss to 45 millimeters. It's handwritten on this tag. This is a really small crossbody, has a nice pocket on the back, Florentine emblem, and then this beautiful duck that's embossed on there with the Dooney and Burke logo beneath it. And 
This one has the red interior, but no pockets. And it has the sample, not for resale, white tag sewn in it. I mean, nothing prevents you from selling them. I think it's just, like I said, an internal notice for Dooney and Burke not to sell to other retailers. But I thought this would make a nice companion piece for my Murphy backpack. Then this is my most prized sample bag of all. On the last day of the tent sale, my friends that I had attended the sale with surprised me with this bag. It's a Dooney and Burke Florentine shopper in the patriotic duck pattern. Um, I, I was just blown away by it and it's a forever piece in my collection and it's you know the leisure shopper is one of my all-time favorite silhouettes and the fact that my friends were so kind as to buy it for me I can't I can't words can't express This one does not have the Florentine emblem on the back, but it has the Dooney and Burke Florentine patch here. And yet another iteration of things. It has the red interior and it has pockets. It has the standard Dooney setup, the two slip pockets on the front wall and the zipper pocket and the slip pocket on the back wall and all of those pockets are edged in leather and it has a key keeper but it has the white samples not for resale tag I guess I could hold that up so you could actually read it. And this bag did actually make it to the Dooney and Burke website. I think the duck was a little smaller when it actually went on sale. And this one just has Florentine Leisure Shopper, Florentine Duck screen print. So this was a screen print on the leather. And this one is the embossed. When they went to retail, they all had the embossed ducks. They came in duck came in a few different patterns on retail but I just love this one I think that's all that I have to say about the sample bags let me know if you have any questions I'll hold this one up um, thanks very much for watching thanks Andrea for doing this collab with me. I really appreciate it. And I guess that's it. Take care, everyone. Let's get a thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail.